Hi everyone, my name is Jacqueline Sakuris, and as Isabel said, uh, I'm a senior creative strategist with Snapchat. Myself and the Snapchat team that's leading our workshop right after this are so excited to be here today. There's been such amazing speakers this morning, so we're really thrilled to be here with all of you guys this morning. So what am I going to be talking to you about? So first I want to sort of set the stage in terms of the change in the function of the camera in our daily lives. And we've heard a little bit about this this morning, so I'm going to carry that on with this presentation. Uh, following that, I want to talk about the evolution of AR specifically within Snapchat. Uh, then I'm going to show you some new technologies that are super fun, really cool, and I think you'll be excited to see uh, some of those latest releases from us. Uh, and then finally, I'm going to talk to you about how you can get involved and uh, share with you our Lens Studio uh, product. Great, so let's go right into it uh, and starting with the change in the function of the camera. So if we look at smartphone ownership, in 2008, there were just over 220 million people in the world that owned a smartphone. And if we jump forward a full decade, uh, we are looking at over 2 billion people that now are walking around with smartphones. And if we look forward into the future, it's projected that in year 2022, that over 3.2 billion people will own a smartphone. So people are going to be walking around with these tiny computers connected to the internet uh, in their pockets every single day. And I have a feeling every single one of us in this room are, are doing that too. So with such easy and consistent access to these devices, which uh, hold so many different types of cameras, the role of the camera in our daily life is evolving. Uh, we've gone from capturing moments to using cameras as the fastest way to communicate, and now we're using it as an entry point to explore and interact with the world around us in a lot of new ways. So Pokemon Go was a really great example of the camera being used for entertainment and gaming. Um, we see apps from brands like Ikea that are allowing you to actually test out furniture in your physical living room in order to see if it looks like something you'd like to own. And then it obviously comes as no surprise, but the camera has become the richest uh, format for communication. And it's also become the quickest and most impactful way for people to communicate. Also, TGIF, this is relative today, so we made it. <laughs> Um, and so Snapchat, we are a camera company, and our users are expecting that our camera does everything. Uh, they're expecting it to be their operating system. And on our app, our most recent numbers is that we have 190 million daily active users, and 97% of all the snaps that those users are sending are made with our camera. And what's really exciting about that is it positively impacts the engagement that we're seeing with augmented reality. So I'm obviously here today to talk a lot about augmented reality. So some stats on AR usage within our app. 70% uh, of our users are using AR daily. Um, and our lens creation community has actually created over 400,000 lenses, which is really uh, astounding. Uh, and most recently, which was pretty cool, Fast Company named us the number one most innovative company in AR. So thank you, Fast Company. <laughs> so it's clear that there's a lot of interest and engagement with AR and Snapchat, but how did this come to be? I want to show you a quick look at the history of augmented reality on the app itself. So the evolution of Snapchat AR. Um, we invested in AR uh, about two and a half years before you know, the rest of the industry. And it started in 2005 when we acquired a company called Luxury, which was based in Odessa, Ukraine. Um, and then following this, we saw the awareness and interest in AR really spike. Uh, Pokemon Go was a massive moment. I remember I was living at home at the time. I have a younger brother who's six years younger than me. And often at night, he'd go out to Poke Hunt. And I'm, you probably all saw the swarms of people around. So it was a really cool moment. And from a Google search perspective, this is what that moment looked like. Um, and then following this, we saw uh, major tech companies start to add on AR uh, capabilities to their core products. Um, but we didn't just start early. Snapchat really invested in AR. Uh, to date, in-house, we've created over 3,000 different AR experiences. Um, and so what does that look like? I'm going to show you our sort of three most iconic starting lenses that I'm sure either you guys have experienced or at very least seen out there in the world. So here you see some of our earliest lenses. Uh, since 2015, 
We've helped people transform into dogs, to vomit rainbows, or uh, to have a cool flower crown. I work with a lot of brands, and it's really fun to say to them, oh, well, if you want your lens to really do well, just vomit seems to work uh, in AR. Um, but that was sort of just the beginning of our lens story. Uh, we've been constantly innovating within that AR space, uh, trying to expand what that experience can be for our users. Uh, one most notable sort of uh, innovation that I'd like to talk about was when we combined spatial tracking, which is the ability for our camera to identify a surface, and then we added on top of that uh, the opportunity of placing an animated 3G object on that surface, and then we got this little guy. Um, so during the summer of 2017, it was pretty hard to escape this image. Uh, this guy <laughs> exploded over the whole internet. Uh, there were insane amounts of memes that were all over the place. You could buy a costume of the dancing hot dog on Amazon. So it was a super fun moment and really exciting for all of us at Snapchat. But one thing that was really cool about this is that it signified to us that our users were turning the camera outwards to explore that worldview with augmented reality. So since then, we've continued to develop this technology. So in the middle here, you see our 3D animated Bitmojis. So if you have a Bitmoji yourself, uh, you can use these lenses and it will dynam dynamically place your Bitmoji in that scene. And we haven't stopped innovating. So what I really want to show you guys are some of the newest coolest technologies that have been released on Snapchat. Some of these uh, were released and mentioned at our uh, partnership summit, which was early April. So we're basically only a month out of having announced these to the world. So the first one here that I want to talk to you about is Marker Tech. What Marker Tech does is it identifies a, a determined image, a photo, an object like you see there, a badge for a conference, and applies AR to that. So instead of using the human face as that sort of marker, that entry point into the lens, uh, we are predetermining certain objects or images to be that entry point. So you have the Jaws poster, some really cool mural down in LA, uh, a badge there, and then a movie poster. So, so many different ways that the marker tech technology can be used. Um, you can even go as far as to transform uh, everyday objects like a $10 bill. Uh, I'm going to show you a really fun video uh, from one of our lens creators. My name is Alexander Hamilton And there's a million things I haven't done But just you wait, just you so really, really fun. Um, and I'm going to play you a video of some of our newest technology that was announced at our partnership summit. So let's take a look at that. Right? Yeah. It's, it's really cool and it's so exciting to be a part of that and share that with you guys today. And so there was a lot in that video, so just really quickly, we're talking about body tracking, the ability for our camera to identify a body and apply AR to it. Hand tracking, having the palm be something that activates an AR experience. Pet tracking, this was asked for forever and it's here. It works on cats and dogs, so lots of inclusion. Uh, and then finally, landmarkers, where we have a number of various landmarkers uh, throughout the world. And these are taking an aggregate of user-generated snaps that have taught our camera, hey, that is the Eiffel Tower, and to apply AR to that. Um, and one thing I want to talk about with this technology when it comes to Lens Studio is that we've done the hard work of figuring out how to teach our camera to notice and identify these objects so that when you go into Lens Studio, you can take any of these templates and start creating. So it's really, really accessible and uh, pretty awesome that a lot of that work is already done so that we can see what creativity can come from our Lens Studio uh, creators. Uh, which takes me into my last section, which is what is Lens Studio? So 
Uh, Lens Studio is the product of us doing about two and a half years of building lenses within Snapchat. Uh, these tools are extremely similar to the ones that we use internally to build our own lenses every single day. Uh, and what's really cool about Lens Studio is it is completely free. And it allows everyone from beginners to experts to create and distribute their own Snapchat lens experience. Uh, and we released uh, Lens Studio in December 2017. And what happened after that release was pretty incredible. Uh, take a look at this to sort of sum that up for you. Yeah, thanks. Uh, so just some updated numbers uh, since we made this video. We've actually had over 400,000 lens submissions from the lens community using Lens Studio, and those lenses have had over 15 billion views, which is really incredible considering we only released the tech uh, December 2017. Um, and so uh, from the video and the example that you see here, for those of you that are fans of SNL or Kanye West or Lil Pump, this was what they dress like for their SNL performance. And within you know hours, a lens was on Snapchat to let you bring that experience into your own world. <laughs> And one thing that was really interesting was that the community, you know, people are doing so many different things with Lens Studio, as you saw in that video. And what we believe this indicates is the power of taking a culturally relevant moment, bringing it to the camera with augmented reality, and then sharing it to a community of super engaged Snapchatters who are, or who are already using these tools to communicate and explore. And so, whether you're looking to bring your favorite meme to life or expand the creativity of what AR can be, Lens Studio is like a great place to start. Uh, it allows you to create AR experiences without having to build your own app or your own user base. Um, and the lenses are built to work cross-platform and across high and low-end devices. Uh, and that's really important because it allows augmented reality, uh, the experience that you're creating, to reach so many more people. Um, and what's really cool is that with the lenses that you create, uh, you can seamlessly integrate them into the Snapchat Ads Manager tool. So if you're a brand looking to reach customers with AR or you're uh, a creative that's looking to do some branded AR work, our tools are seamlessly working together so you can launch your AR uh, Snapchat lens into an advertising campaign really easily. Um, and it's uh, right now we have over 35 different templates within Lens Studio, so it really is easier than ever. And no matter what your skill level is, you can use Lens Studio. And this is super intentional. We designed this tool to be accessible, and we decided that this tool would be free because we believe that AR is for everyone. Um, by releasing Lens Studio to the public in 2017, our primary goal here was to democratize AR. Um, and every day, by us continuously investing in this product, we're aiming to lower the barriers of entry for creating augmented reality experiences. And our belief is that the future of AR innovation will not belong you know, just to the software developer, but to the growing creative community. Um, and it's been really amazing to see how that community has impacted AR, what it can be, and what it is becoming through Lens Studio. Uh, this is just a quick glance at some of the awesome lenses that have been made by our community. And so, I invite you to join this community of artists, developers, and creatives uh, by attending our Lens Studio workshop, which is happening basically right now. There's a few of us from SNAP that are going to walk over to that building, so you're welcome to join us. 
Um, but thank you so much for your time. It's been a pleasure to talk to you about what we've been working on and how we feel about the future of AR. Uh, and we're su super excited for what's next. So thank you very much. Thank <laughs> you.